Good morning, YouTube. What's up, everyone? I'm here at work now, man. Um, I got here a little bit early today. Um, uh, and man, um, I started a tech degree program last night. I was up until 2 a.m. Was coding like crazy. All uh, the products they're giving are actually really fun. So I can't. I'm actually really excited. I can't wait to talk about them with you guys. Um, other than that, man, yeah, it's excited. And to be honest, because I understand JavaScript so much more, and I know there's so much more I can still learn, and there's so much more I'm capable of doing. To be honest, man, I've been dreaming code every single day. I've been thinking about code. I've been when I wake up, I've been thinking about code before I sleep, when I'm sleeping. Sometimes I can't sleep because I'm thinking of it, right? And um, I just, man, I feel like I'm. Um, it's kind of like I'm I feel like I'm back in a honeymoon stage with learning code and, and it's really exciting and I can't wait to learn more and code more man so I'm excited so I'm gonna go to the office but while I'm in the office man go ahead and let's watch this intro and I'll see you guys in a little bit man Alright YouTube, what's up guys? Um, I am actually off work right now. I'm home. It's about 7 p.m. right now and I don't have much time today to talk to you guys so because I want I have a lot to get done. You know what guys? <laughs> Let me go with my better lens. This wide angle is not working right now. I need my high quality lens right now. I'll see you guys in just a second. Wow, that is way better, huh? Oh my gosh, that's insane. Let's make the eyes a little bit higher. Yeah, so I am off work right now. Where I'm, as you guys know, if you saw my last video, um, well, I don't know when I post this video, but I'm actually on the tech degree program right now with treehouse.com. It's kind of cool. And right now, I've been learning a lot of JavaScript. And for me, as someone who's actually been doing JavaScript for the last two years, I have a lot of hands-on experience with it. Literally, professional work experience. And I work with JavaScript every single day. But what this tech degree program is doing, it's actually challenging me to do things that I'm not comfortable doing because when I work in my environment, what I do at work is literally the same thing every day. I rarely go out of my scope and what I knew the languages, the frameworks that we work use at the company. But what's happening with the tech degree program, what I really love about it so far is the fact that it's actually pushing me to do things that I'm not comfortable with, things that I haven't really necessarily done so much of. And there are a lot of things that I actually have forgotten since I don't use them often. And what Treehouse is doing is that they're taking all these essential skills you need to know to be able to know to be good at JavaScript and to get a job and then be good in your field. And they're putting all these projects together together to make sure that I'm capable of getting that job. Well, I already have it, but it's just awesome to see how much effort they put into this. I'm excited to go more into it, so I'm gonna go ahead and find a place where I can just code. Now, I did plan on watching a movie with a friend tonight, and I'm not too sure if it's gonna go through, but to be quite honest, guys, oh, that's better lighting. Wow, that's way better lighting. Wow, that's way better. It's too bright now, shoot. I plan on watching a movie with my friend, and I honestly don't think I'm gonna go through with it anymore because I'd rather just study code. I mean, there's a time to have fun, but there's also a time that you have to work and get things done, so I'm gonna get things done today. So let's go ahead, let's start this. I need to find a place right now. I'll see you guys in a second. Don't you wanna party? Sitting in the crowd, feeling heartbeat. Everybody's carefree, everybody's carefree. Don't you wanna party? Sitting in the crowd, feeling heartbeat. Don't you wanna party? Don't you wanna party? Alright guys, so I'm back here at my house right now. But yeah, I'm back at my house. I tried to go to Best Buy to actually get something, but they didn't have what I need. I was actually planning to go to a place where I usually work in code at Boboloka since I'm actually free time. I'm never free at this time, so. But I decided to just work here at home so I can just work non-stop. I decided to not go to movies with my friends and, you know, I just wanted to use tonight and just catch up and do things that I usually don't have time to do on Thursday night. So I'm gonna go ahead and work in that JavaScript on the project I'm working on right now with Treehouse. It's actually a fairly easy project. So the project I'm working on with Treehouse right now, they gave me two options and I'm gonna try to do the harder option and I will do it. Where when you click on a button, what it does is that it actually um, picks a random quote and displays it through um, the DOM. But I'm gonna go a step further and I'm actually what's gonna happen is that instead of clicking on the button, uh, this will be very useful for a future page and something I'll, that I'll put on my portfolio as well. Uh, what happens is literally is that the quote will just change every couple seconds. They'll choose a random quote every couple seconds or rotate so that it's continuous. As long as you're on that page, I'll continue to rotate with random quotes. So I'm excited to do that. I've never done it before. I never used, you know, I rarely work with arrays at work too much. Well, I mean, 
I do work with arrays, <coughs> but I've never had to do it to this extent before. So I'm a little rusty in it, and I'm excited to get into it and you know go through, go through you know uh, array objects, um, you know work with loops, and it's just I'm excited. So I'm working this right now, and I'll talk to you guys after I get this project done or whenever I talk to you. So see you guys in a second. Get a grande hot cream macchiato with soy. Anything else? Um, can we get upside down too? Yeah, I've got something on my mind. I bet you know what I'm thinking about. You know I can't stop loving you. Every time when you're looking at me, it feels like my heart is keeping on beat. Yeah, you know I can't live without you. You make me crazy. So come on, baby, let's talk Let's talk about love Like you and me all night And let's talk about love And feel it all right And let's talk about love Yeah, baby, come and dance with me Do everything you ever need So let's, let's talk about love Alright guys, what's up? So I just came back from Starbucks right now I got myself a soy hot caramel macchiato grande upside down right here. So if you guys want to see what drinks I get or try want to try it out, man, I suggest you try this out. It's pretty legit. And I also got a plain bagel here from Starbucks. Uh, what's cool is that the plain bagel that Starbucks actually uh, vegan friendly, so it's kind of cool. So what I want to do real quick is just talk about the Tech Degree program and what I've experienced so far. And I love this that I'm able to really experience what I'm learning. You can see why. Treehouse actually made this the first project on when you do the tech degree program. First of all, when you do the, the full stack JavaScript tech degree program, you know, they teach you JavaScript and all these things. But what they do, and this is what I say in all my videos, is that when you learn something, when you do learn some kind of code, what's very important is that you're actually able to apply it right away because if you don't apply it, you'll forget it. Which is why I constantly had to go through the track over and over and over again when I first learned two, a year and two years ago, actually. And so I could see why Treehouse made this the first project within the tech degree program. Program, mainly because of this is because from what I remember when I learned JavaScript what was honestly one of the first things that was very difficult for me to understand in JavaScript were variables and then you go to FL statements like what the heck is this and how do you target you know specific IDs or classes or text whatever if this text equals this or whatever inside the DOM what the heck is a DOM in the first place how what does it mean manipulate the DOM and all these things and they teach you this stuff in the tech degree program but I remember these things are very diff difficult for me but when I finally was able to grasp these things after a couple months the most difficult thing for me to grasp were arrays and objects right or a multi-dimensional or two-dimensional arrays and etc and how you target them and and I could see why Treehouse made this the first project because arrays are very difficult to understand they push you to learn something and grasp something that usually takes people a very long time to grasp and one thing I, I liked about the tech degree program so far or thus far is a slack channel and you know, you know, the Slack channel is really amazing because even, let's say if it's your first time learning code, for me it's not, but let's say if it was, the Slack channel is amazing because you can literally just put in a request and everyone will help you out. You'll literally have a teacher or someone be on there or a tutor or whatever you call that, um, some a moderator to help there and view your code and, and suggest and give you suggestions of what to improve on. And not just that, people actually post their code on there or link the GitHubs. You know, you can look at their code and see what they did. And when I was looking at everyone's code and I was so confused at looking at everyone's code, I'm like, man, am I that bad at programming? Am I just that bad? A JavaScript, I thought I was pretty good, but when I was looking at everyone's code last night, it was hard to grasp or understand. And I'm like wondering, like, is there something wrong with me? Is there a reason why I can't grasp it? But the reason, is because probably 90 to 99 percent of them who are on Tech Degree program, correct me if I'm wrong, do not professionally code like I do. And so for me, I know what clean code looks like. I know how to make code look clean and readable, and the best function to use, the best code to use. That you don't have to use if else statements for everything. You don't even need to use if else statement for that for this project. But some people did, and that's actually one of the things that really confused me. Because because I was wondering like, why are people like using FLC in this project? But then I realized, okay, this is the majority of everyone's first project. Not that many people have experience in JavaScript when they do this. That's why I was confused when I read it. And I just thought, you know what? I need to look at my code and how I would logically do it. What logically makes sense to me? What would be the best route in doing this? 
and I did it. It was very simple. <laughs> so, uh, man, it was, it was a good experience. I'm actually very thankful that I was able to do this. And so, so I can't wait to finish the next project and talk to you guys about that too. One last thing too that I really liked about um, Treehouse is that they teach how to work with Git. Um, use Git and how to work with GitHub and etc. And that's huge as a programmer because who uses Git? Everyone. Especially if you work professionally, you have to push and pull, do pull requests and etc. You know, um, you know, and these things are very important when you're working as a programmer professionally because you need people to review your code and everything. And they teach you how to do that. And that's one of the more confusing things that you have to understand too because you're working with the command line. Treehouse teaches you how to do it step by step, which is amazing, man. So, all right, that's my review of the first project on Treehouse. I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys like that I push out more content like this. Um, you know, and honestly, one last thing before I end, if you made it to the end of the video, I love you guys a lot. I like doing vlogs, man. It, it's just, it's more fun. It's more appealing to me. Um, you know, how-to videos are cool and I'll do them, they're easy to do. So when I really don't have time to vlog or if I, if I have a minute to vlog, I'll do those videos. But the reason I did those videos is because I'm very limited on time. And um, editing vlogs take forever. And so, like, for example, yesterday I edited it until 4 a.m. last night, you know, and I'm here now at work. And so, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do to push out content, and that's what I'm doing. But anyway, let me know if you guys like this stuff. I'll see you guys later. This is Krishan. This is the Life of a Developer, guys. And I'm out. Peace. Are you for real? <laughs> Alright, see you guys later.